What is going on guys? This is Snake Sports here and today I'm talking about something different than predictions and matchups this year or this video. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is I'm talking about will we ever see a North Dakota State Bisons football team versus the Alabama Crimson Tide. As we all know that Clemson won this year in the FBS level and James Madison won in the FCS level division. Both are in Division One football, but one is lower than the other. But I I would love to see this matchup happen um, because North Dakota State. Now people don't really realize this. North Dakota State is nine and three against FBS level teams. That's right. They are nine and three in the FBS level. Um, they beaten Ball State. They beat in Central Michigan, Minnesota. They beat Kansas, Minnesota again, Colorado State, Kansas, Iowa State, uh, Iowa, and they they'll play Oregon in two years in Arizona, Colorado. Uh, but I would love to see Alabama play against uh, North Dakota State because North Dakota State is one of the best teams in the FCS level. Yes, they lost this year in uh, the la rounds to Eastern. Uh, I forget who it was. I, for, I forgot who it was. But they lost. Um, but th I feel like that would be a pretty good matchup. Even though Alabama is a whole lot better uh, with recruits wise. With uh, player in depth wise. Uh, and more stronger, faster, better. Uh, but um, like I said before. Uh, North Dakota State is 9-3 and three against FBS level division teams. Uh, that's pretty cool and, uh, and pretty amazing to me as a uh, FCS level uh, football team. So, I mean, that would be a pretty cool uh, matchup just to see how uh, North Dakota State would play, uh, pan out against Alabama uh, if they would do well in the FBS level. I feel, I've feel i heard rumors that uh, North Dakota State may possibly go to the FCS or FBS level, my bad. Uh, but I don't know. I think they'll stay in the uh, FCS because they're so dominant in the FCS. They don't really recruit the best of players in the F F FCS level, but they know how to play against teams. Their chemistry and whatever they do to make, win games all the time. They've won, I believe, five national championships in the FCS level. Uh, they have 13 overall. They, they moved from D2 to D uh, to D1 uh, a long time ago. But they've they've done really well, and I would actually like to see them uh, play in the FBS level uh, around like probably the conference UC, conference UCLA, maybe Sun Belt, uh, Appalachian, Georgia Southern, uh, many others as well. But Appalachian has pan out, and they've done really well uh, with the Sun Belt, and they've done uh, excellent. But I I want to see uh, North Dakota State play against Alabama because that would be a pretty cool uh, matchup. Also, Eastern Washington. Eastern Washington has a great, they had a great record. They lost to Youngstown State in the semifinals. Uh, but, man, they could also be a possible contending team to play against Alabama um, just to play them and see how well they do and see how bad they do. Uh, but that would be a uh, pretty cool, intense matchup from uh, the one of the best, two of the best teams as well, like James Madison, maybe Montana, uh, like just five of the top best teams, uh, like Youngtown, Youngtown State also. They, these, those five or six teams that I just named could possibly play well against Alabama. Now, I know this is crazy, uh, but Chattanooga, even though they lost 31-0 against uh, Alabama, they still played pretty well against Bama, and they slowed down uh, Bama's offense. I mean, they could probably have got killed probably like 56-0, but only keeping them for 31 points. Uh, even Nick Saban tell, uh, said it was a uh, piss-poor uh, play or piss poor uh, effort against Chattanooga, even though they're FCS level team. So it could be a difference maker. Uh, I mean, I'm not, not going to say that Alabama would lose to any of these teams, but North Dakota State is 9-3 and three against FBS level teams. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying like they would. Uh, it's just me throwing out opinions and me throwing out uh, just list of facts and stuff and see how it can compare to Alabama. You know, Alabama has won so many national championships. Uh, you can look it up for yourself. Uh, but they have also the best recruits, the top five recruits in the nation or top whatever 100 uh, for FBS level teams. So I, I would guess that like Alabama is much faster 
much uh, better and they just have more depth. Oh, while uh, FCS level teams don't really have as many players as um, the FPS level due to, due to the NCAA rules and stuff like that. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this matchup. Would it be awesome? Would it be cool to see uh, these two teams play up against each other? That would be awesome, uh, but it probably won't happen uh, in the future in the meantime. Uh, but hey, it's just me throwing this out there, seeing what you guys think. Comment below what you guys think about this. Uh, should North Dakota State ever play against Alabama? Al Alabama? Uh, that would be pretty awesome to see because North Dakota State is one of the best uh, FCS teams, and they are 9-3 and three in the FBS level team, which is incredible to me. Uh, since, two since 2006, they are 9-3, and three, which that is also incredible to even realize and see, too. Uh, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Uh, let, thanks for the 116 subscribers. Uh, can't believe it that I've already uh, made it that far. So let's go try to get 200 subs. And yeah. Alright guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And peace.